Okay, this video is for instructors, and I'm going to show you how to change the image on one of these course tiles. Uh, there's two ways you can change it. The first way is to just simply change the color filter, um, and you just click on these three dots here to change it to whatever you want. This is very personalized. Students can also change their color filters, so it really doesn't matter. It's for your own personal preference what color, it, you know, if it helps you keep the courses organized in your mind, but student, keep in mind that students can change that color as well for their own personal view. Um, the image is something you can change and the students will see that change that you make if you change the image. You noticed I had a robot on mine. Well, I'm going to show you how to change that to something different. So this is the course homepage. I've just clicked on the course. I'm going to scroll down here to where it says settings. Okay, and I notice up here I've got the course details tab selected. There's a few different tabs here that it might turn up, but we're on the course details tab. To change the picture, we all need to go to these three little dots here. Um, I'm going to choose an image. And there's two options here. First, you can use this Unsplash um, search. And this is just a website that has uh, photos that are free to use without attribution or copyright. So for example, if I wanted to use another robot, I could search here. And this is uh, Unsplash is a website that allows people to use photos for free um, and pick one of these robots. But what I want to do today is pick a totally different image. So I just clicked on computer, and then this is going to allow me to browse my own picture files that I've saved to my computer. So I'm going to change it to this cat typing here. All right, and you'll see the cat typing comes up. And then the last thing I need to do is scroll down to the bottom and don't forget to click on update course details. If you don't click on this, it won't make the change. Okay, now if I go back to my dashboard, sometimes there's a slight lag or a delay here, but if I go back to my dashboard, oop, the robot changed to the cat typing.